Hi, and welcome to Positive Parenting with Astrology. I am your resident Gemini and your host, Maria Rieger. First of all, happy Scorpio season. Second of all, this video is about how to parent your Scorpio child when you are a Scorpio mom or a Scorpio dad. Very intense and interesting dynamic. So I'm not going to go too much in detail about Scorpio nature because I have a whole playlist on how to parent your Scorpio child and uh, I go in depth on the nature of Scorpio. Uh, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it here. I want to get right to the dynamic. The only thing I will mention is that we're talking about uh, when the parent and child both have either their sun or their moon in the sign of Scorpio. A uh, disclaimer that I always give is that obviously we're talking about this energy in a vacuum. We don't have birth charts in front of us to look at. There are many different energies at play in the birth chart. So we're talking today just about Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio is fixed water. It is a feminine energy sign, extremely intuitive energy. It approaches the world uh, from a place of feeling and emotion and intuition. Scorpio people make decisions based on how they feel about something, what they intuit about something, as opposed to other energies like air. Uh, air people, we uh, make decisions based, based mostly on logic and rationality, uh, weighing pros and cons, things like that. Uh, over, we overanalyze everything. But Scorpio people make decisions based on what they intuit the right answer to be or the right action to take. So very different, but that's the first thing to realize. So when you have two people in a relationship with the same like sun sign, for example, or same moon sign, the energies, because they're the same, tend to blend together. And as I've talked about in many other videos about Scorpio, with water energy, water tends to blur the boundaries, right? Because it's difficult to contain. So it, it tends to blur the boundaries between uh, the people in the relationship. So when you have two Scorpio people, the water tends to merge together. The energies tend to merge together. Uh, Scorpio is an energy about merging in the relationship, about identifying with the other person, identifying emotionally with the other person. So there is always a risk for blurring of boundaries, for problems with uh, healthy boundaries. So if you're the Scorpio parent in this dynamic, you have the responsibility of making sure your, your uh, boundaries are healthy and you are teaching your Scorpio kid how to have, maintain, and enforce healthy boundaries. I have a video all about um, how to teach your Scorpio child healthy boundaries. I have a video on boundaries and a boundaries masterclass on my Patreon page. So uh, you can, uh, if you need help with establishing, learning how to set healthy boundaries, you can check all that material out. So that's the first thing is a parent really needs to have done any reparenting work, any healing work, any boundary work. And when I work with parents on the topic of boundaries, which comes up all the time, uh, and their kids, I first uh, teach parents how to set boundaries with everybody else. Because if they have poor boundaries with everyone, with other, you know, other family, extended family, friends, work, coworkers, bosses, they're not going to be able to teach to have healthy boundaries and teach healthy boundaries to their kids. Mostly because they're going to be exhausted from doing all these things for other people because they have poor boundaries. So it's essential that you learn to manage your boundaries with others to be able to have healthy boundaries at home, right? To have energy for yourself and for your kid. And if you want more one-on-one -on -one help with learning how to set, reinforce, and enforce your own boundaries, including what it means to enforce boundaries, you could email me below and we can talk about that. You definitely want to make sure you are supporting your Scorpio child's independence and autonomy. Scorpio energy bonds very closely with the other person in the relationship, even teens, even young adults, even older adults. There's almost always a risk of enmeshment and over-identification with the other person. Um, kind of an, I want to say, I'll say an over-dependence on the emotional state of the other person. So you want to make sure you, the Scorpio parent, are being emotionally consistent with your Scorpio child, that your Scorpio child does not feel like they have to walk on eggshells all the time around you. That's very important. Um, and if 
if you were a Scorpio adult who uh, had to walk on eggshells yourself when you were a kid, my heart goes out to you. I know what that's like. It's very uncomfortable. It leads us to be very triggered as adults. Uh, I talk a lot on this channel about how to uh, deal with your triggers when you're parenting. So you're welcome to check out those videos. I also talk about that a lot on my Instagram um, account. So if you want to follow me there, my link is down below as well. But yeah, it's it's tough. Scorpio parents tend to have a hard time when their kids become adolescents and then teens because there's a natural separation from parents, which is developmentally normal and appropriate because clearly we're raising kids to be independent adults. And uh, adolescents and teens, they go through this phase where they kind of practice their dependence and they come back to the parent in some form uh, to test whether the parent is still there, physically and emotionally available and present for them before they go back out and test, um, test out their independence again. So don't be surprised if your Scorpio uh, teen or tween uh, makes bids for connection with you. And those bids for connection may look like, hey, do you want to watch a movie with me? Do you want to play this game with me? Watch this show with me? Um, can you do this with me? Can you drive me here? You know, it, it, the bids for connection may not always be obvious, right? They're not going to come and say, hey, I'm feeling really disconnected from you, right? Can we do something about that? But they'll, they'll make bids for connection in other ways that may not be obvious to you. So you really need to be attuned to that and recognize that what they're doing is making a bid for connection. They want connection with the parent. They want to know the parent is there and emotionally present for them. And you can do that by looking your Scorpio child in the eye, uh, responding to their question or telling them, yes, I would love to do that with you. I can't right now, but let's make a plan to do that some other time. So um, it is it is essential that you are responding to their bids for connection. And often, right before kids reach a developmental milestone, they regress a little bit, right? That is very normal. So if your teen or tween shows a little bit of regression in some way, like um, that may come across with a Scorpio child, it may come across as they may seem a little bit more sheltered. They may isolate a little bit more. They may be a little bit more reticent or reserved in communicating with you or expressing things to you. That's not necessarily something negative. It's just something to pay attention to. Reaching that next developmental milestone may be a little bit stressful for them because it is hard for kids to, you know, even for teens to think about becoming completely independent and not having the parents around all the time to guide them or rescue them, even though we should not be rescuing our kids from the consequences of their actions all the time. But it is hard on them too. It's hard on the Scorpio parent because we are very, we are very attached to our kids. Um, but it is also hard on the Scorpio kid because even though it may not appear all the time to be the case, they are very attached to you, the parents. Remember, Scorpio is very reserved. They don't always express everything uh, they're feeling, not right away. They usually kind of bottle it up and it may come out sometimes dramatically. So you have to pay attention to that. But my point is they may not always express what they're going through emotionally. They will eventually if they feel safe, but it takes them time. So just remember that if they're being especially reserved or reticent, nothing wrong with that and do not pressure them to speak. That will not get them to open up any sooner. And also, as I said in other videos, the attachment to the parents must be strong and secure for the Scorpio child, any child really, um, to venture out into the world and be independent. They have to have that uh, secure base, is what they call it in psychology, for, uh, for the child to feel comfortable um, becoming independent and separating from parents. Okay, it can be a little counterintuitive because some parents say, well, if they're too attached, they're never gonna be independent. It's actually, it's actually the opposite. They need to be attached to feel attached to parents to feel comfortable being independent because they need to know the parent is still available for them emotionally, even when they're independent. Why is that particularly important for Scorpio? Uh, as we've said in other videos about Scorpio, they, they feel the entire range of human emotional experiences they would rather feel something negative than feel nothing. They have to feel, they have to. And they instinctively know on some level, it's this big scary world out there, right? 
the Scorpio energy is, you know, we associate it with the, um, you know, the shadow side and that's accurate. So Scorpio people instinctively know that other people have shadow sides. They instinctively know the world is a scary place. So that's why it's so important for them to have the strong attachment with the parents, uh, parents who will guide them and support them, but also let them be independent and not uh, encourage enmeshment. And remember, there can be this emotional push pull with the Scorpio child and the parent because of that, that need Scorpio has for vulnerability. They need to be vulnerable, but they also fear the vulnerability. Why? Because being emotionally vulnerable inevitably at some point leads the chart holder to suffer emotional pain. And that happens. That's the case. And we cannot rescue our kids from emotional pain all the time. They have to learn how to deal with that, with our guidance, with our emotional validation. Uh, remember what Gabor Mate says, kids are not traumatized because they are hurt. They are traumatized because they are alone with their hurt. So when your Scorpio child feels emotional pain, uh, whether it's from being vulnerable or something else, we got to validate their emotions. We've got to recognize them. We don't want to ignore those emotions. So if you're not comfortable with, uh, with emotions, that was my case. You have to kind of learn, you have to uh, learn how to be um, less analytical and more emotionally intelligent. But yes, because Scorpio craves vulnerability, but also fears it, instinctually fe fears it because Scorpio people know that it leads to that emotional hurt, that emotional pain. It is essential that Scorpio, the Scorpio child feel comfortable being vulnerable with the parents, that the parents will accept them no matter what, no matter how vulnerable they get, no matter how uh, extreme their emotion, emotional response will get sometimes, that the parents love them no matter what. And the parents are safe people where they can be vulnerable. And remember, being vulnerable is what creates long lasting, stable relationships. We can't really have long lasting, healthy relationships with people without being vulnerable to some degree. And it is okay for you, the Scorpio parent, to be vulnerable with your kids sometimes. You can tell them, I feel overwhelmed or I feel this or, you know, you did this the other day and it kind of hurt my feelings and here's why. Scorpio wants you to be truthful. They value truthfulness. They don't value hiding things. They don't like it when the they don't like it when the other person in the relationship hides things from them. Clearly, like we can't tell our kids everything because some things may not be age appropriate, but um, they do value honesty and truthfulness, even if the honesty, even if if by being honest, the parent is showing that they're not perfect because we're not right. There's it, and th that level of honesty and vulnerability goes a long way with a Scorpio child because they instinctively know they instinctively know that that um, we all suffer emotional pain, that vulnerability is tough for all of us. And when you're vulnerable with them and truthful with them, the Scorpio child really values that. And especially as they get older and become teenagers, they're going to go through a lot of emotional experiences. And it's, you know, very helpful for them to know that they are not alone in that. We definitely want to encourage our Scorpio kids to open up with us and be vulnerable, because if we discourage that, they will just stuff their emotions down further. And that energy is already so reserved and emotionally stoic sometimes that when a Scorpio person is encouraged, um, discouraged from, from expressing emotional vulnerability and in, encouraged to repress emotions, that's even worse because that makes it harder for them to have successful, healthy adult relationships. And also repressing the emotions uh, leads to, can leads to lead to, can lead to physical illness. Also, when we repress our emotions, that makes us more likely to emotionally explode at some point. Ask me how I know about that. And then the people we're in relationships with will wonder, well, where did that come from? Well, I don't understand. And that emotional volatility and emotional extremism push sometimes pushes people away in relationships. So we want to be able to express oursel ourselves emotionally without being emotionally volatile. But it is... Um, a Scorpio parent with a Scorpio child has a potential for an amazing relationship because it's, it's, it's a relationship where the people understand each other very well on a deep soul level. And 
interestingly, I find that Scorpio people tend to attract other Scorpio people in their lives. It's very common for Scorpio uh, adults to have Scorpio kids or Scorpio adults to marry someone with a lot of Scorpio energy in their chart. It's very common. Scorpio energy can run very heavy in families. It runs heavily in my family. God help us. Um, but it is very common. So here, when the parent is a Scorpio parenting a child who's a Scorpio, when the parent reparents themselves, uh, that what you're learning is almost directly translatable to parenting your kids because the energy is so similar. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to uh, see more, I have this great video on how to teach your Scorpio child healthy boundaries. I'm all about boundary setting. Um, and you can see my TED talk on teens and boundaries, which is in the link below. And thank you for your attention. And if you have any more requests for videos, please drop those requests in the comments below.